1918 a student of his white later joined like in 1958 and they worked on like a lot of rules in english it's basically not about the rules in english it's just about the common errors you make while using the language and actually a lot of these rules are really interesting and even i don't know a lot of them are, i mean you probably find it really interesting start with the first rule which is to form possessive singular of nouns with s so Basically, mm -hmm. uh, if you have to talk about, say, Ramos friends, so you yeah. say Ramo apostrophe s Ramos friends. This is how you would address Ramos friends. So, but what if it was name was Charles? So, what would you do then? Charles apostrophe. This apostrophe. Yeah, put an apostrophe after Charles. Charles. That's, yeah. it. that's what we all practice, but the actual rule is stays the same. You still have to write Charles. friends then we try to rephrase it as friends of charles or something like that so you prefer not to use s apostrophe s again so if it's something like this case then just say friends of charles or here at least he you write the heel of actually so this is the first rule and you can always stick to the apostrophe s to be safe in case you're not sure just irrespective of the name just use apostrophe s and it's fine All these are the rules of the so British press and the Oxford. So what name do you use that, uh, without S? Only apostrophe. It's only for any names like Achilles, Jesus. Ramos, 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 Ram <laughs> Board is so, and in a sentence consisting wait, wait. of three or more terms with a conjunction in between, like generally, how would you write? Like, say, I'm talking about red, white, and blue in a sentence. So you would say red, comma white, and blue. Sir, can't I write? Yeah. This is how we all write, right? Would you change anything here if I was to write red, white, and blue? No, but the actual rule is after if a series of words, if you have to write three terms, after every single word you have to give a comma. So if there's red, you first give red, comma, white, comma, and blue. So that's the rule. If you are trying to address. So if there's a conjunction that's trying to separate two or more terms in a sentence, after every of those terms you have to use a comma, even if there's an and, even before the and. So in red, white, and blue, you have to give a comma after red, one after white, and blue full stop. If it's only white and blue, then no, no, no. So white and blue, no. Two or more than two. Oh. So you can take another example: honest, energetic, but headstrong. So even then, this conjunction is but. So conjunction basically something that joins two or more words together and all of them. So any time you use this when you're trying to join three or more words, give a comma after each one of these words. Does it have to be all the same type of word? No, if you're just talking about any three, say, uh, okay, animals. If you take lion, tiger, or something, and yeah. you want to talk no, about something, they're not related. Yeah, they're not related. Also, you still have this rule applies. Mm -hmm. And another thing, we all use uh, etc. etc. It has to always be comma, preceded by a comma, mm -hmm. always, yeah. Yeah. and a full yeah. stop later on. Even if there's only one term before the etc, you have to <coughs> always use a comma before it. This is rule two. ियलिया <laughs> 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 Next 
So this is a sentence. So basically, wherever you have a parenthetic expression, use commas before and after. So can you tell me in this sentence where I should use commas? After country. After country. After country. Unless you press for time. Time. After time. After time. After time. Yeah. So, the so basically, see, even if you ignore the words between the commas, it still makes sense. The best way to see a country is to travel on foot. So you can, all these parenthetic expressions that are there in between always have to have a comma before and after. You shouldn't put only one comma, it's a mistake. So we, most of us generally we use one comma somewhere and feel we're still right. It's completely wrong and you cannot use uh, one comma. For example, Ramesh brother Suresh paid us a visit yesterday. So if you generally put a comma after Ramesh brother and say Ramesh brother Suresh, but there has to be a comma after Suresh also. So because even without that, it still makes sense. Ramesh brother paid us a visit yesterday. So make sure you put one before that. Takes me five minutes to write this sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Do not join independent clauses by a comma. So if two or more clauses not joined by a conjunction are to form a single compound sentence, the proper mark of punctuation is a semicolon. Mm -hmm. So if you have two separate clauses that you want to connect, don't try to use a comma between them to connect them, use a semicolon. Mm -hmm. So for example, it is nearly half past five, we cannot reach town before dark. So there are two separate clauses. So you use it is nearly half past five, colon, semicolon, and then we cannot reach down the phone. It's also okay to use a full stop, but use the full stop when they are too independent and they are not at all related, then use a full stop between them. If there is a slight relation, if the first event causes the second event for some reason, then use a semicolon on this. If there is a conjunction, then you have to use the comma rule again. So one before the and or one. Only if the clauses are very small or commas uh, permissible. Like for example, say man proposes, God disposes. It's really small. So in that case, you need not use a semicolon. It's okay if you use a semicolon, but you can also use a comma if it's really short. Next one, this is Guru Don't break sentences in two. So if you can write one in like a complete stretch, try to write it. Don't break it with the help of full stops. So uh, make it into two small sentences. Like I met them there and coming home from Chennai to Bangalore. So you shouldn't use a full stop instead of a comma there. So make sure you use a comma. The participle phrase at the beginning of a sentence must always refer to a grammatical subject. So make sure when you are starting a sentence that you try to indicate to the subject of the sentence, initially itself, instead of trying to use other words to get to it. Like, for example, walking slowly down the road, he saw a woman accompanied by two children. So he mm -hmm. saw the children while he was walking. So make sure you get walking mm -hmm. like up front. So always remember subject at the start is important. And to divide words at line ends. So basically, uh, when you're writing a mail or something, you come here, there's so much space, you can't complete your uh, word here. So you want to write half a word here and the other half here. So the rules for writing that are, first one is based on formation. So for example, if your word is knowledge, so write no here and happen and write the next part here. So the first part should make sense. So knowledge, in knowledge, so no should be there and let you can spread it this way. So another way is based on vowels. So it's like edible, if you have edible, stop after edi. So there's a vowel here. So you can continue edible in the next line using this. So another one is double letters. So if there are two letters for referring, there are two R's.